So this was me a few months ago during election, crying and begging you guys to vote the right candidate and not to make a mistake. I was warning you guys of what will come, you know, what will happen to Nigeria if the wrong person ever moved to the Asorok. Look at it. <laughs> Wait, let the wrong person win election. You will see Shege 1, Shege 2, Shege 3, Shege Pro Mass, Shege Pro X Mass. In fact, you will see Buddha buy. If you even want to run out of this country, you will not have money for visa. In fact, they will deny you visa. You will stay in this country and see the biggest Shege of them all. They play, just they play. Now, most of us warned you guys of what is happening today. You see this hunger in the land today, this um, fair price dollar rising and all that as of today as of today i think the dollar is up to 1800 if not more this is just the beginning it will get to 5000 it will <laughs> you see that shege promise i talk about there it never reached we are still on shege eh we are still on shege what buari did to us is a is a warm up to what is coming we warned you guys we warned you guys but guess what? You guys were blind to brain thinking is about ethnicity. We thinking is about is some of you went as far as saying that uh, uh, as long as it's my brother, I feel like I made peace for body. Really, my brother did it. Should be your brother don't did it. Your brother sent you. I hope. See, I hope the Yoruba people now have where they buy bread cheaper, like the dollar, like like the Yoruba people now they have their exchange rates different from the outside people they have their exchange rate different from Igbo people or maybe Igbo people are buying bread cheaper now or Aosa is buying bread cheaper see we're in Igbo boy when all of them are decrease all of them are decrease and the painful part of this whole thing is that if elections should happen tomorrow again some people will still vote based on ethnicity and religion that's it. You see this, you see religion, all this, now my religion, I am Christian, I am Muslim. In fact, for the fact that the president come from your religion, say you even suffer more. I see the protest now. You see that some religion don't want to protest, some religion are protesting. And you wonder why they don't want to protest, so that you people can tag them in this thing. I did a video, I did a video why the South, why the Southeast people are not protesting. Some of you are dragging me in the commentation on the Chris. We said this thing. We said it. We said it, we cried, we begged. Don't, in fact, I went as far as doing this video. I don't vote. Tinubu we make mess of me. I we vote. We begged you guys. I we vote. But, but guess what? Vote. You guys were all over social media criticizing obedient. Hey, this, 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 this. There's no insult I did not receive during the election. There is no insult I did not receive. You, there is no insult I did not receive during the election. And now you people are receiving the hunger. She will you not on the fence, paint for road now, hunger. Eh? I think it's only me. Uh, by the grace of God, if you let me dollar be 5,000 naira, I will afford my daily bread. Hunger no go kill me and my family. Eh? When I go, see, one more, po. one more. Because I know if election should happen today, you guys will still vote based on tribalism and ethnicity. Mm. For most of you dragging me in the comment section about the video I posted yesterday, I think you need to wear your brain and watch to understand instead of you using your free data to insult me in conversation. It's just the beginning though. I go here, I go here, the sugar that is coming, eh? Hey, <laughs> you see the, you see the song go. The sugar coming. You see the song go. This one that is here now is a baby sugar. This is a enjoy this baby. This is a baby suffering. The real suffering is coming. In fact, let me use my mouth to tell you people today: enjoy your weekend.